It says, then, as a result of what will happen in their life, shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him who serves God and him who does not serve him. I'm telling you, believe me, this is the year where there will be a clear demarcation. There will be a clear difference between those who serve God and those who do not serve God. I believe it. There are families who have served God for years. Some of you, your parents served God till they died. I tell you, the rewarder is coming to you. Yeah. One of these days, you will hear a spiritual knock on your door. You will open it thinking it's a demon. And you will see God show up and says, For your faithfulness of 10 years, for your secret prayers for Joshua Selman, I'm saying this by the Spirit, forgiving, nobody saw you but you gave. On account of your faithfulness serving the Lord, it looks like you are marking time right now. I have come to reward you. You believe what I'm saying? Yes. I was teaching last year and I said, we have very sophisticated mail systems across the world now. There's FedEx, there's UPS, uh, UP, uh, um, the S and then one, one other one, which other one again? DHL and sometimes those guys are so, they, they know how to find your house provided your house is on earth. Are we together now? If it's in another planet, that's fine. They may find another, but if your house is on earth, you will be surprised. It may take a while, but eventually you will see them knock at your door and say, are you so, 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 and so, I have a parcel for you. And you open it and see that that parcel came from Russia, came from Australia, and you are wondering all of that distance. It's none of your business how they transported it to reach you. The most important thing is if it is your name there, you receive it with thanksgiving. Do you believe that? I prophesy to you in the name that is above all names, may my God, who is your God, bring your reward to reach you this year. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now hear me, the Bible says once upon a time, there was a man who was on his way going and then armed robbers attacked that man on the way. They beat that man and left him for dead. Only God knows what treasures that man was carrying, but he was attacked. I decree and declare, everything that wants to attack the arrival of your rewards, in the name of Jesus Christ who died and rose again, they are cursed even before arrival. Listen, this is not a year to be careless with prophetic words. No. Receive it with understanding. Please be seated. Mm. Hallelujah. A clear demarcation. In Matthew 25 and verse 21. Matthew 25, 21. The Bible says Jesus himself was teaching. Remember the parable? The parable of the talents. So when he came to demand accountability from those he had given talents, five, two, and one, the Bible says, his Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou has been faithful over a few things. Look at the character on how God rewards. I will make thee ruler over many things. Few things, many things, few things. So God does not just reward with himself. He rewards with things. Few things like little money, many things like increases, financial increases, few things like maybe whatever it is, and then many things, God rewards with things. I will make thee ruler over many things. He says, enter thou into the joy of the Lord. I'm praying for you. Whatever is needed for life and godliness. I know you have loved the Lord. Some of you love the Lord in lack. You love the Lord in pain. But whatever provision must be in place for you to enjoy God this year, may my God gravitate it towards you. If giving you your own house will give you the peace to serve God this year, may the rewarder reward you with it. If giving you a greater job will be what will help you serve God well, may my God make it happen for you this year. If entering your marital destiny 
or having your children are we together or blessing your spouse anything around your family life is what will make you serve god well may my god make it happen this year And if money is what will help you serve God well, that this, this trauma of lack and telling lies and stealing and living a false life because of the absence of economic means, if having resources will help you work in integrity to stop lying and manipulating people, in the name of Jesus, may my God make it happen for you. not speaking to everybody please play the strings for me Binga. be ye steadfast listen unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord he's encouraging discouraged people here people who have been serving with nothing to show about or nothing to show and he says be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord what is the revelation behind that for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain if it is done in the lord if your labor is out of eye service you will keep doing our service forever 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 please just hold those i'm seeing lights now this is light just resting on people it's an impartation light I've come in the volume of the book It was written about me To do your will, O oh God I've come in the volume of the book it was written about me to do your will, oh God. I've come in the volume, I've come in the volume of the book. It was written about me to do your will, oh God. I've come in the volume, I've come in the volume of the book. It was written about me. To do so no matter whatever may come my way, I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow. No matter whatever may come my way, I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow. I'll follow, I'll follow, I'll follow. God rewards God rewards the Bible says be steadfast unmovable abounding in the work of the Lord knowing that you will receive a reward from the Lord if your labor is in the Lord if your labor is in Christ if your prayers if your prayers for your children your prayers for your spouse your giving for souls if it is true that you are doing it in the Lord my Bible says there is a reward my Bible says there is a reward listen please sit down sit down I want you to be very sensitive sit down can I tell you do you know how God rewards there are rewards that will come to you whose the harvest of seeds you cannot remember sowing is because someone connected to you sowed it but the person is no more but since God is just he will have to look for someone from that bloodline 
to and prove his faithfulness i'm saying this because there are many of you your loved ones are dead but they serve god they gave to the work of the kingdom you will marvel and wonder that god will look for you since you did not sow but because you are part of the natural descent of those people god will visit you with anointings visit you with prosperity visit you with graces in the name of jesus christ it is true listen it's not only causes that are transgenerational blessings are transgenerational he's called the god of isaac the god of of um the god of isaac and abraham isaac and jacob there is a reason why he's called that way do you believe what you are hearing ah look when i begin to speak these prophetic words open your spirit and receive and watch the god who rewards men and watch the god who wipes tears and watch the god who takes away shame and watch the god who can end reproach in the life of people come on turn this revelation to prayer in one minute oh you will reward you will reward you are a god who does not fail you will reward to the third and fourth generation you will reward reward with power reward with good things reward with your presence in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray please be seated very quickly please be seated i've taught you here that god rewards men it's a revelation you must have god rewards men settle it for a fact beyond any shadow of of, of doubt god rewards men god rewards men what does god reward men for i've shared it here time and time again perhaps to recap for your understanding number one god rewards diligent pursuit when people seek god truly he rewards them most of us approach god with a salary mentality so at the end of the month you say god where is my reward that's not how it works sometimes for five years you will not see him speak two years you will not see him speak but my goodness the day he comes he comes to reward you in a way that it becomes clear. He makes a statement in rewarding you. God rewards diligent pursuit. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must come believing that he exists and then that he is the rewarder, not of Christians, of them that diligently seek him. What does God reward? God rewards faithfulness faithfulness consistency regardless the consequences god rewards it you would have been a multi-millionaire right now if you compromised but your integrity has kept you in this state find hope the rewarder is coming oh yes the works of men are written in heaven god rewards god rewards faithfulness listen there are precious workers in this ministry i tell you from as early as five or six they are up and doing, running around, stretching themselves from pillar to post. If you were God, will you leave them like that? My dear people, sit back and watch the God who rewards, reward you this year. You need to come and watch the prayer department on Tuesday. And you see these people travail from children to grandmothers, crying in the name of the Lord. How does God forget this kind of thing? How about those who give? silently not wanting to be known they do it because they love jesus hallelujah sometimes you see our precious ushers holding people here under the anointing and sometimes you see them fall some of them are wounded all kinds of things yet you see them laughing with joy they are not fools 
Anybody who makes you believe serving Jesus is foolishness, you don't need to answer. Allow God himself, who designed the system, reward you in a way that people can say, wow, this is serious. So this is how God can reward those who serve him. Hallelujah. There are some of you serving God has almost become a shame and a mockery. When it's time to go to church, yet come the naysayers, you are going again. They would deceive you, take away your money, indoctrinate you and send you back as a foolish person. And you feel guilty loving Jesus. Oh goodness. Except you do not know the God of the Bible. This is the year that you will arise in power. And it will surprise you beyond your imagination. God rewards diligent pursuit. God rewards faithfulness. God rewards sacrifice. God rewards the motif of men. You see, you can do a lot of good things like you have learned. If it is with a corrupted heart, you will not get your reward. For instance, eye service. You know what we call eye service? Doing good things just so that you can have a good name. So that you can preserve your reputation before men. Oh dear. You already have your reward. The perception you are struggling to give them is your own reward. But if from the depth of your heart, loving and serving Jesus, I want to tell you that God rewards the sincerity of men's hearts. I believe this about him. Because many of you already, if God is to turn you back from where you are, it will take another five years to catch up with where you should be. So he will take it. Whatever you would have met, he will come and put it. This is what speed is about. This is what restoration is about. The Lordship. One more time, we need to let this, our arrogant earth, know that Jesus is still Lord. Because sometimes, just because he's quiet, men make a lot of boastful statements. Politically, economically, when a great man keeps quiet, you should find out why. So God keeps quiet for many years. While people make noise and beat their chest and say, Over my dead body, if anybody rises in this family. And then one day God says, Are you done with your rubbish? Let me show you that I am God. He will pick the weakest and lift that person. You will not even know why you are rising. You will be finding out as you rise. Because you are not sure. You see, when others are clapping and say, I know how I came here. For you, your only answer will be your knees. To say, Lord, I can't say I truly understand how this happened. I only know I started and then I was preached by the wings of the Spirit. Listen, this is how some of us got here. There are questions we cannot answer. We replace the answer with yeah. Every time we are confused. How did you rise like this? I just know that I believe scripture. But there is a, there is, there is a complicated calculation. That I do not know. War betides a man. Who can explain everything about his lifting? It's not God that lifted you. Whether political, there must be a gap that only the size of God can fill in your story. There must be, if it's God, no matter how you calculate it, there must be a space where you will tell people honestly, this is where I stop. I don't know how this one happened. He does it like that. So that men will fear him. The sovereignty of God should not replace our loyalty to principles. But let me tell you this. The best of us in obeying these principles will still default. Because we are humans. So while he's watching you, his, his power is trailing you. And when he looks at you and he sees that time is going. And the unit of destiny is time. He will say, son, let me pick you. And this is how she will carry you. Let me speak to someone this night already. In the name of Jesus who is the lifter of men. I decree and declare. In no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder. May the lifter of men lift you. May the lifter of men lift you.
please sit down. We are going to pray shortly. One area I know where only God can truly explain is the lifting of men. There is a science to wealth and prosperity. You can sit down and provide value here and there and then you just have resources. But when it has to do with lifting, the variables are many. You can do everything right and you are ready for promotion and someone says, because you are this tribe or this gender, I had a problem with your father because he died. Since he's not around, you are the one who will pay the price. And God says, who is... Who is, who is attempting to be me there? Do you believe what I'm sharing tonight? Because you see, sometimes believers become so afraid just because of the things men say. Oh, you won't rise. Oh, oh come on. We're talking God. Every one of us seated here, respectfully speaking, and I mean I do not mean to insult your pedigree in any way, but every one of us seated here was once a baby in the hands of a woman. None of us here is an ancient of days. Even Satan is older than us. But there is an ancient monarch. He's been sitting for a very long time. He has watched proud kings. Rise and fall. He has watched humble people from their lowly estate is lifted. He has watched this thing. He's seen poor people lifted in one day. He's seen men in Samaria say, If God opens this window, so when God says by tomorrow, Monday, you will return rejoicing, be careful to not make the mistake that was made in Samaria. Listen to me. Believers, the God we serve is not a governor. The God we serve is not a president. And there's nothing wrong with this. The God we serve is not an ambassador of a place. The God we serve was not given land to occupy. He was not voted into power. The, you have to understand this about God. The Bible says in the beginning, not from the beginning. We don't even know what happened. When Moses was writing, he said, where do I start this from? He just said in the beginning. He couldn't have said from the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Where was he before he created them? Because he was not in the heavens, he was not in the earth. The word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations. We do not even know which one we are with respect to his blueprint. The, the devil that you are talking about, read your Bible. There was a time when he was not part of the equation. This is how genuine Bible faith comes. When you take away your eyes, for as long as you keep looking at that cancer, you are going to see a legitimate medical report. You will see testimonies for as long as you look at that financial situation. The three uncles that will help you have vowed that it's better for them to die than help you. So already you know that nobody is coming to help you there. Then you come to God and God says, please. I have spoken once. I don't speak twice. Go and hear again. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life has changed. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. You touch this way. Hallelujah. In one minute, let your expectations rise to heaven. Please go ahead. Jesus is here. Jesus is Lord. All over the nations, follow with hunger in your heart. Please lift your hands and pray. Everyone, everyone, lift your voice.
You are lifter. This is me, oh Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2. The last prayer point and we'll pray. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken. The Bible says Sarah conceived. You don't have to be a woman to conceive. This kind of conception. There are visions. There are things you can carry. Your mind is a womb too. And bear Abraham a son even in old age. At the set time which the Lord God has spoken. Father as you have spoken do to me. As you have spoken do to me tonight. Take a paratus for the Galebala Catasu. Sala Dana Baracotabana. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of His people. Bring them. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Please bring them. An outburst of laughter is not something you can control. Hmm. God of heaven. These people are not, this is not just a, a, some carnal manifestation. God is establishing great victories in their lives. Hallelujah. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Who is Victoria? I presume there may be many people with that name. But I want to speak to you now. Hold on please. Don't, don't run for yourself. Where are you coming from? Huh? Mama, where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja, but I come from Kaduna. From Kaduna? I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. Help them, please. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out carelessly. If you don't have any business coming out, please, there's order in the house of God. In as much as these are manifestations, don't worry. God is going to visit you. We are not wasting our time. I'm hearing a name, Olu Shegun. Olu Shegun. This is a Yoruba name. Olu Shegun. You are wearing a short dress, a short handed dress. Is there someone like that? Olu Shegun. Who is that? What's your name? Olu Shegun. From where? 
from I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I manage the son of my friend. I want to pray. You heard what I was teaching about lifting. This is what is going to happen to you. My friend, believe God, oh, God is the lifter of men. Hallelujah. Mama, please lay your hand on. I hope you are not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? I want to rebuke BP, high blood pressure. High blood pressure. I want to rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, huh, something is about to happen here. Now, please look at me. Everybody pay attention. Let me explain before it happens. You see, the apostolic and the prophetic call, if and when administered within the boundary of scripture and with spiritual intelligence outside of superstition and rubbish and nonsense, when it is administered within the boundary of scripture can work wonders. And you have to be flexible when you are in an apostolic and a prophetic atmosphere. In as much as scripture remains the basis of all that we do, the dynamics of its operation, the Bible says there are diversities of gifts. Are we together now? There are diversities even of operation. Now I confess to you, the world is watching and I want to say something before I pray. There are certain gifts and manifestations that God has put upon my life that I was almost tempted to shelve them for a while until I studied through scripture or in the life of they that have gone ahead of us so that we would not bring error in the body. But I searched, searched, searched and I did not really find anyone I know operating this dimension of what, what is about to happen. And because of that, I went to scripture and then I found out that there were things that were hidden that were not known in time past but that in these days God had revealed them who is apostles and prophets. The Lord would open my eyes and show me the map of a nation or the map of a city and I would see light would point a particular region and the moment I announce it all the people from that region the power of God begins to touch them. This is a sign and a wonder. When it started in my life, I said, what is the meaning of this? Are we together now? And I'm saying that because this is what I'm seeing. I'm now seeing that vision right now of a map. And the light of God is touching Kogi State. This is what I'm seeing. Listen. Help them please. You see what I'm saying? Kogi State. Kogi State. Bring them out. Kalatuski Debra Katushiata. Kebrantos Kalibra Katosiata Kogi State God is bringing deliverance There are foundations, there are altars That have tied the destinies of men down In the name of Jesus I come by the apostolic and the prophetic Here at this miracle service Kogi State Doesn't matter what local government In the name of Jesus By the power that raised Christ from the dead We arrest everything Please don't come out on your own in the name of Jesus Hallelujah These things are manifestations of the spirit It is to profit the believers Hear me Except God is not God Everything that followed you here this night To tie your destiny I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost Help them please It must let you go now It must let you go now Covenant It must let you go now Yoke from ancestry He must let you go now In the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Now, there is someone here in politics. The power of God is coming on you. I'm not, I'm not a politician. I don't play politics. I'm a man of God. 
But I love politicians. I love great people. I don't run away from them. We are sent to minister to them. But there is a politician right now. I'm talking, the power of God is coming on the person. Just hold the person I want to prophesy. If that is a woman, just hold her. I want to speak to her. Because I'm seeing her climb a ladder. There is a strange political door that is about to open up for her. Listen, this is the house of God. It's impossible to come here and return back. Minister Dunsin already told us here. I am that I am. Let me use, please, just rest. You don't have to, just take it easy with her. I don't know who she is, but just help her, please. That's all right. We are, hold her there, please. Don't worry, you don't have to. Just keep her there. You don't have to lift her. Just keep her there. Madam, we respect you. We do not insult your pedigree in any way. It's just to speak over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come, I use her as a point of contact. I don't know why God is speaking to those who are politicians. If you are in politics here and you are being grounded by any reason, I stand in the name of Jesus. You see, every state rises based on the king, priest, prophet formation. The king, priest, prophet formation. I declare in the name of Jesus, everyone here, politically, may my God lift you to the next level. May my God lift you to the next level. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Ene Ojo. Ene Ojo. Is there a name like that? Ojo. What's your name? Huh? Give please. Is the mic working? What's your name? From where? Kogi State. Stand here. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every door that has been closed over your family, I'm speaking to you now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, may that door be opened now. Yeah. Madam, what do you do? Hold on, please. Is this mic working? Please, media, help us. I'm a politician. You are a politician? Yes, sir. I hope you are not embarrassed. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't cry, madam. God did not bring you here to embarrass you. I'm speaking to you in the open. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, I, I don't know whether... In the name of Jesus Christ, rise to a new level in your political career. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen to me. Kingmakers never become kings, but they enthrone kings and they remove kings. It's a grace. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord honor you. All of you who are standing here, my dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. You. That's the name that is above every other name. I pray for all of you who are here. Everything holding you down, right now, I speak in Jesus' name. Let it let you go now. It must let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The Lord wants to set a family free. I'm seeing that the men in that family keep dying. This is what I'm seeing. This is a pattern. All the men, something continues to happen to them. Remember that happened to the widow at Nain? Her husband died. Her only son died. Please return back to your seat rejoicing. Madam, can I pray for you? Yes. Hold on, please. Where are you coming from? I'm in a from Kogi. I'm Zana's mother. I mean, not... Zana from England, the right seat. Oh, I see. God bless you, ma. You're welcome. This is Koinonia. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains around your chest and your hand. In Jesus' name. Help her, please. Look at this. Out of her now. Give Jesus praise. It's over forever. Mama, God bless you. You return back.
Hallelujah. Sir, can I talk to you? This man on black wearing the nose mask. Please come. I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you trying to climb a ladder and the ladder is breaking and bringing you down. And the Lord is saying to prophesy to you so that you will rise. This is what I'm seeing. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I decree and declare the power that lifts by the God of heaven. May that grace come upon you. May that grace come upon you. And you will rise in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to pray. The Bible says, even the lawful captives. Hold on. Do you know what it means to be a lawful captive? To be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the, which the devil is taking advantage of you. But it says, even the lawful captive. This is strange. There is a man of God. You are in ministry. You are going to run out now by the power of God. Just hold the person and bring the person here. You are in ministry. We are going to pray. There will be a massive deliverance here right now. Deliverance means a separation between you and the obstacle that stands your way. It doesn't have to be a spirit. It can be a mountain. Once it's an obstacle, it must go. Where is the... I just want to speak over the... I'm, I'm seeing a man of God that... It takes more than sincere desire to do ministry. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, help him. Grant him the grace to do ministry with integrity. And in the name of Jesus, look at me, sir. You love God. And I love you, but your spirit man is very weak. In the name of Jesus, strength for you. Strength through prayer. Strength through the word. Strength through spiritual exercises. Receive an impartation now of fresh grace. You will return back and the work will begin to speak. In the name of Jesus Christ. As powerful as Jesus is, he needed John to open his heavens. Even if you are a midwife, there are times that you will not be the one to give birth. You will need somebody to help you. Are we together now? Let's pray. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Inside here, following online, at the overflow. When we shout this name, we let the nations know that he is the doer of these things. Now, the moment we shout that name, listen to me. There are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down. Some of you, as you are standing, you are representing families. At this shout, the fire from heaven will fall upon you. Please, I want you to bring them out. Bring your various overflows. Just bring them out. Those at the balcony, please be careful so that you don't just fall from there. Are we together now? Father, you anointed us and you call this a miracle service. There are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage. All kinds. Bondages of delay. Bondages of retrogression. The ill speakings of people. And the Bible declares for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. That he may destroy the works of the evil one. Therefore Lord as we lift up this shout. The healer. The same way the walls of Jericho fell. Let everything that does not name the name of Christ give way. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One. Two, three, shout Jesus. I command every power. I command every force. Bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. God has so highly exalted him and given him a name and office above every other office, above thrones, above dominion. I declare every power holding you down. Bring them out. That power is this Lord now. We are still praying. Please bring them out. Halakatos 
Shagapakatos. Some of you are representing families. God is asking me to pray. The power of God is going to come upon you. But it's not just for yourself. It's for your entire family. Lord, every family represented here. Makatos Keba. That is under any kind of yoke. I declare by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. That yoke is broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. Hear me. There are people here. Every time good things are about to manifest, you keep walking, but just when it's about to happen, you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things. Shabakatakata. Embreketebasikata. Anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough, may fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. We will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Hallelujah, Elijah I'm hearing a name, Elijah Elijah We're going to pray for the sick shortly Please stretch your hands towards me. I just saw something in the spirit. If you can, just stretch your hands towards me. I saw a vision and I'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people. And the Lord is telling me, this is, I'm seeing written on it, good news. I'm seeing the number 71. Just stretch your hands towards me. Father, hold on please. From my left to my right, everyone who must receive this, inside, outside, right now, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. Paruso to peke repeka tos. E preke te katus katea. Help them please. In the name of Jesus. Sounds of good news. Sounds of good things. Sounds of good. Help them. Pakatus kapata. Te preke te katibata. Some of you knew that you have been waiting for, for many years. Many years. Suddenly. Suddenly God is bringing it. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Suddenly. What do you do? You are Elijah. What do you do? Pastor. You are a pastor. Where? You have your own church? Can I pray for you? You are Elijah. Hold on, please. Don't. Mr. Man, I'm seeing fire coming on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor, can I pray for you? Listen, we are co-laborers and God granted us grace to help one another. Are we together now? I stretch my hands towards you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you. May your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. My God. Please look up. I'm seeing a very interesting vision. The Lord just opened my eyes and I saw a grave. And I saw it open. And I saw things. Not people. Things that are there coming out. I'm declaring to someone. This is not just restoration. This is resurrection. There are some of you they've concluded things about you, about your family, about businesses I call upon my God everything that has been buried over your destiny, that you will not rise, conclusions made over your family, I call upon my God, who is your God Talita Kumi that which is dead, come back to life Talita Kumi that which is dead, 
come back to life. Help them, please. Every family, dying businesses, dying families, come back to life by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Zainab. Zainab. I pray for all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the power that raised Christ from the dead rest upon you. My dear, this lady, shout Jesus as loud as you can. My friend, what do you do? Sales boy. You are a sales boy. Yes, Where? Ikuba. I'm selling gas. Sir. You are selling gas. 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 Uh, Refilling of gas. Will you believe what I will tell you? Yes, sir. Go and register a company. Okay. Huh? Okay. God is taking you into oil and gas. Stand up, my friend. We are not entertainers, so we fear God. I will not stand here and rubbish myself in the presence of God's people. Huh? Go, please hold on. Please don't come out at random. Don't worry, God will minister to everyone. There's order in the house of God so that we don't turn. But I want to pray for you. It will not happen now, but it's going to happen. Be faithful. I saw light just coming to the, the choir, just saw light in the worship area. I don't know what it is, but I just saw a strong anointing. There are people there in the name of Jesus. The, the, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming. They are saying like a river. A river. There are people falling into that river. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Christ of God. That river. You will drink in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. Please, who is signing up? Where are you coming from? For no state. What do you do, man? Come. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hand. I'm seeing you having something to do with the white man. This has to do with two areas. The Lord is going to honor you with a business that is going to run to great things. And it will lift you. Lift you in a way that will surprise you. I know you are currently in security, but God is granting you with a step by hand. And I declare, in the name of Jesus, may that be spoken for you right now. Hold on, hold on. I want to pray for you. Give up my is 13 years, even if it is 3 months, in the name of Jesus, barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of Jesus Christ Madam, I pray for you, according to the time of life, in the name that is above all names, go and tell your husband that here at this miracle service the Lord has brought visitation for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her please. Praise the Lord. Why is she here? Your name is Zainab. 
You last too? Week. Huh? I'm a Muslim. You called me last week. You are a Muslim? Yes, it doesn't sir. matter. You are welcome. This is God's house. Huh? There's no prejudice. God bless you. Whether we love everyone, Buddhist, Muslim, whatever you are, you just come. One guarantee is that you will not go back the way you came. That's the deal. But you are welcome. You come the way you are. I want to pray for you, Zainab. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bring a visitation for your family. A supernatural visitation. Everyone trusting God for a job. I just saw something now. Please believe. Hmm. You are trusting God for a job. Wherever your job is, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God take you there right now. I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Some of you, by this time next week, I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare, by this time next week, may God surprise you. You will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. I am hearing a name, Pius. Who is Pius? Pius. You are Pius. You are a worker here. You are a new security here. It's still the same thing. All this ministry doesn't whether you are a worker, you know, most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything, only other people get no this once Jesus shows up, including me who is speaking, everybody you will swim in that river and you receive. Are we together? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. No. The pious I'm seeing is wearing white like me. Like this. This is what you are wearing. <laughs> you are surprised. <laughs> this is the place of encounter this is the place of surrender sir don't worry i'll still pray for you ah you are we love our workers. You are faithful. How could I'm just trying to say that this is was not the word. You understand? But it means that. Listen, whether God gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not, the prophecy of Scripture is valid. You can use the prophecy of Scripture and prophesy to yourself, and it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you. No matter how accurate what we say is, we still see in part. The word of God, Scripture, must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word this becomes your comfort that even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name and even if there is time we do not have the bible says though i speak with tongues of men and angels though i understand all visions and all of that we are limited but it's for you to believe sir i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir abuja here can i pray for you god is lifting people this is what I'm seeing. God is lifting people. God is showing me someone. You work in civil defense. It's time for your lifting. This is, this is civil defense. Civil defense. Now, Madam, you work in civil defense. I will pray for you, but... Is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense? This is what I'm seeing. This is a lady or not a man. Is there someone like that? Balcony. Oh, find out. Find out first. Where, where were you sitting? Come. Come and stand here.
this is the place of encounter. Hallelujah. My dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care what is the issue that is on the table. According to the word of the Lord, if God could locate you, I declare, and I also pray for you, also civil defense, madam, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will come and stand, both of you. You will stand here before the people of God and you will testify of strange liftings. In the name of Jesus, receive that grace now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her, please. Daddy, I don't know why you are standing outside here, but I want to pray for you. We are going to pray for the sick. I'm going to pray for you. Is it husband and wife? Madam, I need to pray. Because I hope you are not embarrassed, sir. Can I talk to you? Ah, we have to pray. I believe in miracles. God is taking sickness. Sickness. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing many things. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is BP. Two people will start running in the overflow outside. Outside. Now, we may not have time to bring them out outside. I'm seeing the power of God. Outside, the overflow outside. Just bring them to the front of the projector screen. I want to pray for them. Because the Lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families. This is what the Lord is showing me. Sir, may my God bless you. In the name of Jesus. And for you, sir, may my God... Please stand up. You're a worker. What do you want God to do for you? Look at a wise man. You heard what he said? He said, I want to know him more. Is it not relationship that brought this privilege now? Don't you think relationship has other privileges too? The greatest prayer request is relationship. You can have a man's hand, but when you have his heart, you have access to everything. Are we together? And I truly pray that God will help you to know him more. The Holy Ghost that was given to us to help us know the Lord. But in addition to that, the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know why God is visiting the workers. One of you ushers here, the power of God is coming on you. Eh? you I know you are ushers, you are doing your work, but let God visit you first, then you continue doing what you are doing. I'm seeing the power of God on the ushers now. We are going to I'm seeing a strong anointing. Star, there is something the devil put on your throat. Sir? This is what I'm saying. I don't know you, sir. Let, let, let the wife talk. Madam, please talk to us. I'm not, I'm not sure I got it. This is what I'm saying. I'm They were operating and I had an operation three weeks ago. They said I'm going to do another one next week. In fact, by Saturday, they say it's cancer. I don't know. I'm running around for God to help me. Every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband madam or over your wife sir or over your children or over your parents i bow my knees to the god of my covenant and i declare in the name of jesus that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now 
Please stand up. Let me tell you this. You see, one of the ways that God helps you to dispense the anointing is He plants compassion in you over the lives of people. This is somebody's father and grandfather. Now He's saying that, look, doctors are a miracle, they are instruments of God's mercy. Without them, we will not even live to even learn the ways of God. But look what is happening to this man now. We are about to pray for the sick shortly. I'm sure there's a reason why the Lord left him here. That he came together with our mother here. And now, they are, I don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now. But that he will never be able to speak again. Sir. Come again. So that it's either life or death. Don't worry, madam. You are in the right place. You are a man of God here. Please listen to me. You see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing. It's not enough to say I'm Apostle Joshua Selman. I am this. Our alignment, there are destinies tied to our obedience. There are destinies tied to our prayer, our fasting, our diligence. The miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus. So no matter what level you are in ministry, please let this thing plant a genuine hunger. All these celebrity things that destroy us, push it one side and settle with God. Carry genuine fire, ever increasing fire. Yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges. You will need fresh fire for the season. And if you are not ready to stay with God, don't ask God to give you members. What will you be doing with them? It's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time, share the grace, and go back. Please don't be offended. I'm not, I'm just sharing with you a passion. I'm looking at this man's situation. Daddy, we are going to pray for you. And I believe Jesus. That he will do a miracle for you. I don't know what it is that he has put. And then God will heal you of BP. Because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down. Can we pray for the sick now? In the name of Jesus. Please, no, stand up, sir. God bless you, my people. I prayed for you. You can go back to your seat. Let's pray for the sick now. It's important. You see, I know that we live in very challenging times. And the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people. We had the miracle service in Zaria. Um day before yesterday and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now I'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but Jesus still heals and right now, please listen, we have to do it very fast because I know your prayer requests are here. By the way, if you are yet to write it, please make sure that you do so quickly. But I'm going to minister to the sick right now. And when I pray for you, all the overflows outside, following online, maybe some of you are following from hospitals on a sick bed, death sentence, about to go. I want you to believe Jesus. Hallelujah. As soon as I pray for you, listen please. The power of God will come upon you. Already miracles have started happening. Now this is what will happen. As soon as the power of God touches you, and I ask you to check yourself, I want you to run out here. Please, whether they are overflow, one, two, three, down to the basement or outside, those online, you can register your testimony online. I want you to come out, use either this place. No, 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 you don't have to bring them out. I'm praying for them right from there. So whether you come out from here or here, once you are healed, then 
you'll bring them out. You don't have to bring the sick out. They'll crowd this place. I'm just going to pray for you. This is just because our father came out and stood here. Are we together? Now lay your hands very quickly, everyone. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. He touched me. The master touched me. And oh, what joy fills my soul. Something happened. And now I know He touched me and made me whole. There will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. A gentleman and a lady. Now we're ready to pray. Please, I'd like you to believe with a loud amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, the healing anointing is flowing here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil behind infirmities. You don't have to bring them out. Right now, miracles are happening. I command those devils to give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Migraine headaches, be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcers, be healed in Jesus' name. All kinds of growths and lumps around the body, I command them to disappear now. Bone conditions, be healed now. Those on crutches, those on wheelchairs, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now and you try to stand up. You're on a cross, lift the cross and start walking. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deaf ears, partial deafness, complete deafness. Be healed now. Blind eyes, open now. All kinds of cancers and ulcers like our father here. Now I'm praying for you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands to you. And then as a point of contact to everyone having any demonic death sentence, in Jesus' name, be healed now. Be healed now. The Lord is showing me people having severe abdominal problems all kinds of abdominal problems here the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ there's someone what you have looks like what we call parkinson's i think i'm right that thing that makes you to just shake your body shakes in the name of jesus i declare may the power of the holy ghost touch you now May the power of the Holy Ghost touch you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a lady here. You don't have anything cancer, but your hair falls. This, is, this has been a very demonic thing. Right now, the power of God is touching you. Be healed now. Be healed now. Please don't, don't, you are punishing this man. Just keep him somewhere. When he's healed, he can stand up and come. Huh? The man is trying to stand. Now, don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for you. You don't have to come out. The Lord is showing me a woman. You are not 
um, what do you call it now? You are not a nursing mother, yet you are lactating. Now, I hope I know what I'm saying. Praise the Lord. But this is what is happening. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle for you now. I don't know what the medical condition is, but in Jesus' name, we stop it now. There's someone, your left, is this? Your left eye, you don't see very well with it. After this prayer, check it right now. A miracle is happening to you. I'm feeling pains here literally at the left side of my, uh, what do you call this? Your kneecap. This is somebody's condition right now. The power of God is touching you. Supernatural miracle right now. Supernatural miracle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Back pains. All kinds of back pains. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. The Lord is showing me at least eight people. You have to take pills to sleep. You can't lie down normally and sleep. I think there's a medical condition. There's a name for it. You are, you are not able to lie down and sleep. You must take a lot of drugs. One of you, the power of God is coming on you now. That demonic thing, we command it to live your life in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. And then I'm seeing someone... Until now, I think you have a problem with your shoulder. I don't know what it is. You cannot lift it. As soon as I pray, just lift it. Check yourself. Do what you cannot do. You'll be surprised that the power of God has touched you right now. Supernatural miracle. And then I'm seeing someone, you can't walk, like, walk outside for a long time. You become unusually tired. You are not a very old person. But then you walk, no matter how, even if you, you rested the whole day. Once you walk out just for a few minutes, you become extremely tired. The power of God is touching you now. No, you don't have to come out. You check yourself. When, when it's time to take miracles, we'll take them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing multiple breast lumps. The Lord is healing them right now. Any stranger in your body that has not been planted by God, I command it to go out now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm seeing, you've been feeling like you are pregnant, but you are not pregnant. And yet it looks like the symptoms of pregnancy is with you dear. This is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that, that kind of occurrence. You have dreams and you see all these ugly spirits come to molest you. And this thing, you, be, you feel as if you are pregnant physically. But then you are not really pregnant. In the name of Jesus, anyone in fraternity with dark powers, that they are taking advantage of you to spy upon your liberty, I declare be released right now. Sugar diabetes, be healed now. Hepatitis, be healed now. Uh, the Lord is showing me someone, is it that you fell down from a bed or you fell down from a building or something and your rib area is like you fell down right there and from that day till now, there's been severe pain around your rib area. But right now as I'm spraying, the power of God is touching you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Three things we're going to do at the same time. Number one, all those check yourself now. Check yourself. you find out there are people that Jesus has healed. Inside, outside, I want you to run quickly. You can come and stand here. People are coming. Celebrate them. Or you stand here. Please come. Check yourself. Check yourself. Please make sure you check them. There will be people here. To ch I spotted Dr. Bukola Williams somewhere. Please, you can help to just verify the people. Let's just have people come in. God has healed you. Please come out and stand. While that is happening... Please, ushers, PR, you can help them. Please pass your prayer request to the last person at the aisle, whether left or right. 
and then they lift it up very quickly so that we'll have them together very quickly Jesus is healing people Koinonia are you celebrating miracles from all the overflows please make your way creator of the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus creator of faith what can you do keep coming keep coming all the overflow just allow those who are healed to come you're the name Hallelujah. Let's have a few of the. Te- Do we have the mics? Are they ready? Let's just have a few very quickly, please. Whilst that is happening, please do well. If you need a minute to quickly write your prayer request, please write it. They are bringing all of them to the altar here. We are going to be praying and let the God that answers by fire bring miracles to you. In the name of Jesus, ensure that the overflows, everyone has their prayer request. Those online, i like you to keep faith. We are going to pray and the power of God will touch you there. Yes. Very quickly, please. She has had it for over a month now, but the pain is gone. It's gone. Ben. Any pain. Any pain. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That anointing comes on you. It perfects you in Jesus' name. Yes, please. You mentioned the kneecap challenge. Immediately you mentioned that the pain disappears. So How long have you had it, madam? A month. A month. Check yourself. Any pain? No. Completely gone. Give Jesus praise. Let's celebrate Jesus. Back yeah. pain too. Our mommy has had back pain. Our laps. Let her speak. Go ahead, ma. I've been having pain from my lap for over three months now. And right now? Ah. Ah, look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, sir. Also, you gave a Hold on, please. Knowledge. Just a moment. Yes. So you gave a word of knowledge for the knee. The knee. The cup. knee. How long? For over three months now. Check yourself. It's gone. Completely gone. Every other issue goes like that in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. So we have another knee here. The same, the same problem. Knee. Yeah. Check yourself. It's gone completely. It's gone. In the name you of all of you. Three months. Yes. Three months. Are you seeing the coins? It looks like coincidences. Everything that is off balance in your life, in Jesus' name, restoration comes for it. Yes, sir. 2016. 2016. Yes, sir. Your knee. Yes. And right now, run. He told me to do a surgery. Go ahead, run. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Just a little, huh? Jump. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never, never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. You the case of someone that fell from the bed. This is it. She had had the pain in the leg, but the pain is gone. Oh, I'm now. seeing. Is, is that a bandage or something? Yes. Let her speak. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. Okay, what, but... what happened... <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Take your time. Uh huh. This evening, when I came in, I had so much pains. I had to go to the medical, but he kept telling me it has, it has to take one month, four weeks for me to get well. And then I told him I was even, this evening, I had an engagement. He said I should just keep 
stretch. I don't know if it's outside. That I should just keep putting my leg like this and not press the leg so that it doesn't okay, get... Okay, what happened now? Well, now I feel a lot better. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I declare perfection. Perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. With the pain around the, the, the shoulder. shoulder. Yes, it's gone. Now. gone. Check yourself. Completely. My goodness. In the name of Jesus, it never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Another case of me come healed. Mama, how long has it been? Uh, since on the second of uh, this month. Okay. I just came back from my mother's burial from the village the kneecap started and the same thing happened to my elder sister that I lost on the 13th of uh, January she came back from the village and this same thing led to her death anybody that digs a pit for you what happened to Haman may it happen to them the rod of the wicked the bible says shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous mama be healed completely perfected in Jesus name Yes, please go ahead. Of chest pain at the shoulder and the breast region, they are both healed completely in the name of Jesus. A miracle for you, yes, sir. Right. So, Apostle, she's an actress and she, she's having a shortness of breath. And you, you are an actress. Uh, I'm an actress. I met a guy on a location brand, and after meeting the guy, after we left the location, got to my hotel room, I start feeling dizzy. And anytime I walk a little, I start feeling weak inside of me. So my pastor's wife gave me the cliffs, your, one of your cliffs to watch. And in my dream, you gave me sugar. So I, just, I told my pastor's wife everything and he asked me to come here. To from come Lagos. here? Yes, from Lagos, Lagos you came. Yes. And right now he's gone. Yes. Make sure you take a bottle of wine and go and thank your pastor's wife. May the Lord bless you. And if she's watching, the Lord bless you, ma. And the Lord honor you. I decree and declare not only is God bringing perfection even in your career, you will thrive, go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name. Ah, there's a miracle here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My God. Oh God, people who saw me coming in, in fact, I had to beg the security men to help me park very close to the gate because I can't walk with this without this. I How long? So much pain. How long has it been? Last year, May. Okay. And the doctor told me that I needed total hip replacement. I've been having severe pains like my hip was caught. But while you told uh, the people who were laughing in the spirit to come out, I stood up and immediately I just felt the Walk. pain. Walk. Completely gone. Pain. Hmm. Are you celebrating miracles? Look at this. In the name of Jesus, we declare perfection. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Give Jesus praise. We have cases of ulcer being healed, peptic ulcer. So how many years? Peptic ulcer for more than two years. And the pain? Mine is six years. Six years. In the name of Jesus, for all of you who, who have suffered ulcer, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, this healing is, is completely perfected. It will never return back again. In Jesus' name I pray. 24 years. 24 years. Wow. Place your hand on your chest. I'm touched just by that. Lord, may it never return. Amen. A miracle for you. There's a miracle in this room with my name on it. There's a breakthrough in this room with my name on it. Healing for you in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. My God, there are so many miracles. Let's see what we can do. Yes, please. Knee. Now, all of you who have knee issues, just place your hand there. Let me just seal your miracle. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, either here or here, all of you together, I declare healing for you, perfection in Jesus' name. Yes, Benga. Go ahead. He gave me a very, very sick. He said he had also pain. So he went to the medicals. They yes. gave him drugs, but he was still feeling it. But immediately you mentioned I think we should celebrate our doctors. They are doing an amazing work at the medical session. Very intelligent, skilled people giving their heart and their all to the Lord. The Lord bless you 
in Jesus' name. Completely, the pains are gone. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. You mentioned the case, but now she's no longer feeling it. How long has this been? I've been having it uh, for a very long time, but ever since I started praying for my sister because she has a kidney, yes. sickle cell, gall bladder stone. So ever since I started praying for her, I don't know whether they were just attacking me. So anytime I take in that hotness, will just remove the pregnancy. So and sometimes I can't even my cloth just for my cloth to stay, relax on my body. I can't. I must open like because it's too hot that I need to get something cold to touch it. But immediately you talked about healing, so the the whole thing now started coming down. It's not as bad as, as it used to be. So right now, I'm not feeling that hotness Come. in my womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Don't cry. This is your sister's photo. Job 42 verse 10. And the Lord turned again the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friend. I pray in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. Lay your hands there and watch a miracle happen for you right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I decree and declare for you and for your sister let there be a miracle right now and whatever has been responsible for these miscarriages we cause it by the God of heaven go and return back a joyful mother of children in Jesus name God bless you completely check yourselves all of you with shoulder issues in Jesus name we may just take two two and then I'll pray. I know that there are so many people. Now, listen, every time you're unable to testify here real time, you can always register your testimony and then let's know. Um, by the way, week, all week long, the media lines are open. You can always register your testimony. And then I know that we have a lot of people and sometimes we're constrained by time. But it is good for God's people to know that God is at work in your life. Feel secured. Feel safe. To share your testimonies it doesn't have to be a healing miracle in any area at all praise the name of the lord we we'll see how god will grant us grace to dedicate a little more time testimonies are powerful they are attestations of the love the power the grace of god and we don't downplay them at all praise the name of the lord so let's take two maybe two each and then we'll just pray generally for the rest yes ma ah let us speak okay i had a lump on my shoulder here. Wow. And it was really conspicuous and it was it just kept growing. But it has shrunk completely. Give Jesus praise. <laughs> Creative miracles by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we declare every growth it leaves never to return. In Jesus' name I pray. Give Jesus praise. The last person please. The pains are gone. Back pain. Back pain. Check yourself, my dear. Any pain? Any pain, completely gone. In Jesus' name, perfection for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, Apostle. You gave a word of knowledge about someone that is lactating. Wow. How long has this been? Since 2019. 2019? Yes. And I this was... has happened to you? Yes, sir. And what happened to you now? I went to the bathroom. You went yes. out to check yourself? Yes, I went It's to... gone. Come on, Koinonia. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare perfection for your body. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, sir, this is, she's been healed, her ankle, and she's had her eyes for two years. She couldn't see. Right now, she can actually see. Then, Mama, back in. Precious and God bless you. It's a night of prayer, and I wouldn't like you to give up on prayer. Keep praying day and night. Keep praying from wherever you are, your workplace, your office. In the school in that silent zone pray in the spirit just ensure you keep the atmosphere the flows of prayer constant jesus his ears are always open to hear you he that has an ear let him hear what the spirit is saying it is a communicative process that makes this reality become ours is because jesus is always interested in communicating to his church to his people as long as they are interested in listening as long as they're interested in talking to him don't forget Bible said Hannah prayed persistently. She prayed and Eli thought she was drunk. You can pray and even be uh, uh, in a wrestling position with that situation of yours until answers come. And he said, Lord, if you give me a son, I will give you a prophet. 
and you see because he she now understood what she really wants knows really what she wants so on that ground bargain has to be done this is hannah she prayed until there was a change don't give up god's word is coming to your life ensure you engage them ensure you become productive ensure they are fruitful in your life see to it that by prayer you engage them and they become your reality god bless you do well to subscribe stay in tune with us and share this video we love you so much god bless you